With our favorite ice cream shops closed, summer doesn't feel complete. We have a solution. Delicious ice cream made with household ingredients. By the end, not only will you have a yummy treat, but you'll also have learned very interesting chemistry concepts. The materials required are two tablespoons of sugar, one cup of half and half, you could also use milk or heavy whipping cream instead of the half and half, one fourth teaspoon of vanilla extract, half cup of salt, any type of salt would work here, at least four cups of ice cubes, at least one small sealable bag, at least one gallon size sealable bag, a timer or a clock, and you could also use a thermometer and some oven mitts or a small towel. Now, let's get started with this experiment. Put one tablespoon of sugar, half cup of half and half. You could also use milk or heavy cream instead of the half and half. And one fourth teaspoon of vanilla extract and seal well. Now, add four cups of ice into one of the large gallon sized bags and pour half cup of salt into the bag. You could also place a thermometer inside the bag to measure the temperature. To understand why salt causes the temperature to drop, we must be well versed in the molecular structure of ice. Water changes from solid, which is ice, to liquid, which is flowing water because of the movement of the water molecules. Energy, or lack thereof, causes the changes to the movement of the water molecules. Energy in this case refers to the difference, which is the increase or the decrease in temperature. The temperature at which water turns from solid to liquid is called the melting point. When salt is put into a bag of ice, the salt ions prevent the water molecules from getting into that rigid formation, making it hard for the water to turn back into ice cubes. In fact, the salt water may not freeze until minus 6 Fahrenheit. The more salt there is, the colder the water will be. In technical terms, the salt causes something called freezing point depression that causes the bag to remain cold for a longer period, speeding up the ice cream making process. Now, put the cream bag you prepared in step 1 into the large bag with ice cubes. Make sure both the bags are sealed shut. Shake the bag for 5 minutes or until the cream begins to solidify. In this scenario, the cream energy is transferring to the water molecules. If it weren't for the salt, the ice would probably melt way too fast, which means that the cream wouldn't solidify as quickly. Soon, the cream would have solidified into yummy ice cream. If you'd like to see what happens if salt is not added to the ice, please follow these instructions. Now, add four cups of ice into the other large gallon sized bag but this time, don't add any salt to it. What do you think will happen without the salt? Put another small bag you prepare using the same steps as the steps in step one and put this in the large bag. Make sure both bags are sealed shut. Shake the bags for five minutes as you did before. Did you get the same results? Now, if you didn't get the results, there is a reason. Salt. We will now answer this question. As the ice cream freezes and forms ice crystals, the shaking breaks up the crystals into smaller pieces and lets air into the mix so the ice cream becomes more smooth than icy. If you did not shake the bag, the ice cream would not become a solid. In case the ice cream didn't turn out the way you wanted, it's completely okay. Science is all about trial and error. Try putting the milk back in the large ice and salt bag and shake a little more to see what happens. We've successfully made some amazing ice cream. As you take a bite, be reminded that you're trying all three states of matter. The solid ice crystals, the liquid milk and the gassy air bubbles within.